look at how to configure your Google Classroom gradebook. So when you're in your Google Classroom, from the stream at the top right-hand side, you'll see this cogwheel, and that is your settings icon. We're going to go ahead and click on that, and you'll see your settings options for your class detail, your general settings. And then if we scroll down to the bottom, you see you have your settings for grading. A couple of options, starting with your grade calculation. It defaults to set your overall grade calculation to total points. So that will show students a grade sort of out of a 100 point scale, um, and it will show that percentage. Your other options are to show them no overall grade and have it be more of a gradeless uh, space for sharing and collecting work, or you can have it weighted by category. Then you have that toggle on and off option for students to be able to see their overall grade. So when they go to their um, workspace on Google Classroom, their show my or view my work, they'll either have that percentage up in the top right hand corner, um, again, out of 100. So you have the option to toggle that on or off. If you have indicated that you want grades to be weighted by category, you go down to grade categories and click add category. Now, grade categories must add up to 100%, and you're indicating which percentages um, they're going to add up to. So for example, in my district, we follow a standards-based grading model where we have a formative category that's worth about 30%. And then really handily, it shows you how much percentage you have remaining. So how many more categories you need to add or how many more percentages you need to add. And then we have another category, which is summative, which is 70%. Once you have those categories set up, you can go to the top right hand corner and click save. And then you'll notice from your classwork tab when you're creating a new assignment, over on the right hand side, you now have this grade category option where you have those options formative and summative that you set. It will remind you to set that category before you post the assignment in case you forget. Um, it really wants you to determine how it's going to calculate that grade in the grade book. And that is on setting up your grades in Google Classroom. For more EdTech tips, tutorials, and lessons, you can visit my website, empowerededu.co, or find my teacher's paid teacher store, Empowered EDU. See you next time.